Hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this video recording how to master the art of day and swing trading as always traded traders let me get this right my videos are all real and unedited I don't run to a script as you can probably already tell so in today's video I'm going to be giving you a whole lot of tips and ideas on trading specifically we'll be looking at the ES futures contract however all the setups and the ideas that I give you are applicable to uh, any market whether you trade stocks futures or Forex so I'd recommend that you perhaps um, make sure that you've got your trading journal handy and a pen handy because I am going to give you some great ideas now most of my members uh, their target would be four to six hundred dollars a day in profit that's what they're targeting and in a moment uh, I'll show you a chart on why that's a good target and many of you have probably already seen it but I believe that if you've got a big enough why why you want something the how will appear and so it's really important that I keep drumming in to have that compelling future to have that goal you know as they say reach for the stars or you'll at least hit the moon and so I want to really get you believing in yourself that this is achievable and so we're going to be looking at some live charts and the reason I'm actually bringing up the ES I've just finished doing a private coaching session with a private client and this actually was all ready to go on the uh, black gold on oil but because we were focused on the ES this morning for the last three hours uh, I thought well hang on I may as well go through the ES because it's fresh in my mind it's marked up and I'll do uh, oil on my next video so for those that are not familiar with the ES the ES uh, trades at $50 a point there are four increments or four ticks to a point at 1250 per point now as I mentioned if you trade stocks Forex it doesn't matter what market you trade in the reason being every market is driven by two emotions either fear or greed now I know that they say that we've got um, uh, the algorithms kicking in the algos the computers do a lot of the trading today however that really doesn't matter because once a trend gets underway it's usually because of us humans but anyway I'm digressing a little bit for today's video so as we do get underway though I do need to put up there is a risk disclaimer of course uh, if you've seen my videos before you know that there is a risk in trading you've read this before please feel free to pause the video if need be to read the disclaimer uh, if you haven't already just a very very quick advertisement and we'll move on if you haven't already requested one of my training manuals so I've got a free training manual on getting started as a day or swing trader and I've also got another manual they have a truth about day trading and you can visit my website and order both of those manuals if you wish even better still make sure you do subscribe to my YouTube channel as I have new videos come out most uh, most weeks and even better still come and join me as a member for $197 you receive everything that I'm about to show you today traders all of the strategies as one member recently said my Google Drive uh, where I've got all the resources is literally a gold mine there are hundreds of videos on there I'm saying hundreds now uh, it's literally uh, I think there's now over 300 videos there's um, uh, training manuals it's just a ton of stuff I love day trading this is my passion is hopefully it comes through very very clear and uh, I'm a researcher I love what I do anyway let's get stuck into this now you've probably heard me if you heard me on other videos and any members that are watching this uh, no I have a mantra that I teach traders five by five yes I can five by five yes I can because as we know when it comes to trading 90% truly is psychology and so affirming to ourselves that we can do this you know and developing that self-belief is just so important and one of the, the the mantras is five by five means five winning trades at fifty dollars each now it doesn't matter whether you're trading uh, Forex or as I said earlier it doesn't matter what market now if you're trading a setup called the 2b which you're about to see you can change that to three by eight yes I can because you only need three net trades a day to achieve the same two hundred dollars that we're talking about here three by eight yes I can three by eight yes I can because the mindset traders makes a massive difference 
now I'd recommend you if you're not a member uh, for members by the way you can go onto the site and of course you can download this uh, but for those from the general public take a screenshot of this and let me quickly go through it if you start with 5,000 capital and you're earning $200 a day now and that's never ever risking any more than 2% very important I won't get into that now but maximum risk of 2% 200 a day at the end of a week you have $6,000 let's assume here you compound that within five weeks on the sixth week you're now trading two contracts so therefore you're waiting until I call it earning the right to trade an extra contract but you're waiting to double your money to start trading too we've been very conservative and what it comes down to traders is this in 16 weeks you're earning ten thousand dollars a week that is possible on the basis of two hundred dollars a day per contract so the big question is how do we get to that 200 a day what's one of the safest ways now of course there is a risk in trading but it's all about gaining the right education and learning those strategies now of course with the ES typically the ES contract the e minis turns over typically around one and a half uh, million contracts a day now with this week it's uh, it's by the way it's Monday the 15th of the 10th uh, 2018 it's Sunday night in the US heading towards midnight the market is open so the Globex open we're going to be looking at the Globex market which is the after-hours market so you can basically trade this market 23 hours a day now the last week there's been some extreme volatility so I'm going to show you a lower time frame and, uh, and and so you may be thinking if you are a trader what about the last week well sometimes we need to actually stand aside because the higher the time frame the larger the stops and sometimes the markets are just not tradable as well because they move that quickly more on that in a coming episode but before we go to the ES chart let me cover a couple of things as I mentioned here ES is 1250 a tick now four ticks is fifty dollars now remember our mantra earlier five by five yes I can that's 225 net now traders to net an average of 200 a day your daily target does need to be 300 you are going to have down days now hopefully not too many a month by trading with the trend which we're going to discuss in a moment but five by five yes I can scalping the market five net points a day that's what you're after now as you're about to also see with some of our setups that are very mechanical in the nature you'll you'll easily achieve six ticks therefore you only need three trades a day yes I can three by six yes I can now this is so important traders that you have a target you have a goal in getting going as a trader so the question is then how do we realistically achieve 200 plus plus per contract each day well first of all one of the rules that I have with uh, I've got now over 4,000 members so I've got uh, literally hundreds of private clients now that either have attended my coaching or I've coached one-to-one -one, is that as I teach them for new or struggling traders if trading hasn't been good to you thus far with my strategies you start trend trading only you become a specialist okay you see traders there is no secret today trading there, there truly isn't you know the, well I suppose if you want to call it a secret the first thing is is to know when to first enter or when a new trend is starting so we have a setup that we call a t20 which really identifies in virtually every case a brand new trend because when you've got a trend the trend is your friend till it ends it's an I know it's an old cliche but it's true we then have a range of trend following strategies now if you're trading one contract maybe two but if you will say a smaller trader trading one you want to go for usually a fixed target you might be going for say eight ticks six ticks eight ticks or whatever it may be as you uh, increase the number of contracts you trade you can use Hakanashi charts or an ATR or a trigger line for exit say this you can sculpt maybe half of your contracts off uh, getting what I call the cash register to ring and the second lot of contracts you can trail to maximize those returns now traders when you become a member 
uh, this is just one of the checklists that I train my members in there's all the see all the things that we need to do when we first get underway and as you can see here I've got a whole range of trend following strategies then we've got a number of change in trend then we've got a range of counter trend strategies now you may then say well look so many strategies how do I learn them all well you only need to master two or three to have a fantastic career as a day trader so what you do is you master two or three trend following and a lot of these other things like bull and bear flags and drawing channels and wedges Fibonacci retracements which you know they're optional a lot of these things and tips and ideas you can implement or build into your trading as you develop the confidence you know what actually happens with most traders what I train I have what I call aha experiences if you look at the testimonial pages you'll actually see um, I don't ask my members for testimonials and but, but I've got a whole stack of partial emails where members email me and you'll see some emails will just email and just say aha because what I say to members is or new traders you'll have what I call aha experiences aha now I get it now I understand it okay so the number one thing here is just before we go to the charts and there's some real movement in the market at the moment and we're about to see what we call a pivot bounce which I'll show you in a moment um, I can see it up on one of my other screens here that you know give yourself 90 to 180 days every trade is in a hurry you know, but if you want to earn the big bucks if you want to join what I call the the five percent club traders it's you've got to give yourself three to six months you know you don't trade with real money you use the simulator to begin with very very important and that, you know you, you look, we'll cover more of that in other sessions and many of the other videos I've discussed that but let's get back to this I don't want this to be a one-hour uh, video so this is really important that you really truly understand this traders trading is nothing more than a pattern solving exercise the market has a memory we see the same patterns many of them are what we call geometric patterns appear in the market it really every day day in day out we see the market these these patterns I'm about I'll show you one in a moment that's already appeared twice in the last few hours and it's just a high probably ass kicker oh excuse me ladies anyone gets offended by that it's just a great solid pattern as you'll see nearly everything I do is based upon a pattern why because patterns appear every day and I think it's um, to give some credibility on pattern trading this is page 209 out of Mark Douglas's book the disciplined trader um, Mark Douglas unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago but he's got a fantastic book called the disciplined trader and there he talks about mastering the art of trading and as he says here to become an expert choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical the patterns that we have trader traders are very very much based upon visual patterns that are easy you know we have the greatest computer in the world traders our mind and you know it's easy to spot these patterns once you learn them and with trend trading this is really what you want to be doing you can see here we've got a surfer on the on the wave here we want to be surfing the best waves that is you want to be able to identify a pattern when it first starts you know look I get caned by traders failed traders will say oh your strategies don't work oh, traders look the only way my strategies don't work is if you get in a trend at the end of a trend and it turns traders you know I just get I just get flabbergasted how traders try to blame others for their stuff ups and their failures and their own mistakes okay but the secret is with any trading strategy really they're, they're literally and I've got to say there are literally dozens of trading methodologies that really do work and if you get in at the start of a wave like a surfer waiting there paddling and he gets to ride the wave that's the best trend following you can do as you're about to see now what we do is to further enhance um, our trading we want to get in and this blue line represents a higher time frame a much bigger wave we want to get in at these little pullbacks at these retracements and we want to ride the big wave it's not rocket science trading is not rocket science trading is not about intellect okay it's about pattern recognition <laughs> unfortunately 
some people get duped into thinking that you know, you've got to have the greatest software and programs and all that sort of thing but in the end it's like indicators yes I use indicators but indicators are nearly every indicator is what we call a derivative of price means price needs to plot for the indicator to plot and most indicators of course are lagging by one or two candles at least some indicators uh, may be lagging by five or six candles on the time frame that you're using so you want to get back in within one or two candles after the retracement back in the direction of a trend it ain't rocket science it really isn't so let's go and have a look at some trades now for an example right now I've got to show you this because uh, it's just setting up right now okay we've got right now see this here this is a pattern that we see every day now we're looking at an 89 tick this is the ES the e mini this is a pattern that we call a 200 EMA overshoot that's what this is okay so see how price is gapped away from from what we call our trigger line this is a pattern traders that we see every day it's a very high probability pattern it's good for at least four ticks uh, nearly always and we measure the distance between the gold and our entry and your entry by the way was the close of this third candle it's already one candle in okay it's a pattern that appears the gapping um, that we see and I think it's Newton for every uh, or well, someone said <laughs> I, I, I can't remember who said it for every uh, reaction is an opposite reaction okay you get a big pullback of the trade and it tends to snap back but that's not what I really wanted to show you what I wanted to really talk about was um, trend trading and making money trading with the trend so let me tell you what we're looking at now this is what we call the globe X um, uh, globe session so if you're a say if you're working at the moment or you're looking at trading full-time and you want to cut your teeth on trading uh, the globe X session opens up 6 p.m. Eastern so you can go home uh, have some dinner and start doing a bit of trading one of the big advantages of trading the globe X session is that it's quite slow for a new trader in going through your checklist okay where you can go and say okay let me just go and check this if, if I met all the conditions whoops here I am sorry going just scrolling along too far here yeah, sorry let me get back to what we we're looking at there um, so you can you can get got time to let's get back to that checklist okay to go through like for an example do I have a fanning of the EMAs right so you've got all of the rules now this is only um, uh, very very basic this is not the cheat sheet so you've got cheat sheets and videos and powerpoints on all of these when you become a member okay um, uh, so you've got those in your spiral binder but the very important one here is to follow the gold so let me give you a couple of things that we're looking at here the yellow mark here this is what we call the floor pivot uh, the pivot bounces are extremely important when it comes to trading whether you trade stocks Forex or futures it doesn't matter so you've got what we call the pivots and you've got the midline pivots and traders that don't understand the pivots wonder you know why is price bounced here and if I don't have their pivots on I've got no idea all right yes you do have a 200 EMA bounce here but you've also got a floor pivot and we call this by the way a 2b because there's some other conditions that are met here a very very high probability great return as a 2b and here's another 2b by the way over here all right they're great returns every uh, and just um, because you're probably new to this chart this is or this type of chart this is called a Renko chart so see those little hash marks here. every time the brick goes up each one of those is worth 1250 now remember we spoke about three by six yes I can all right so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so there's ten of them there's uh, okay here's another one two so you can see with your two B's and your stop by the way your stop loss goes just one tick under there so if you're wondering where your stop loss goes one tick under your stop here goes one tick above so when you become more advanced to actually learn to trail that is you can pick up what we call these runners but getting back to trading with the trend there are the 2b actually is a trend following strategy because we're using the higher time frame so as a newer trader you just want to be following 
the goal okay so here you've got a 2b now just to give you an idea of a 2b the, the video I was about to do which I'll probably do later this week or maybe next week on CL on the black gold I mentioned like last Friday there was um, uh, 19 two B's in the 23 hour trading period that is as I mentioned the market opens for the globe session so from the open of a globe session to the close of the market that 23 hour period because the market closes for one hour uh, there were 19 for 15 winners okay 15 winners and this is just a random day uh, fairly typical with the 2b and we'll just do a 2b count as we go along here today now very important the 2b traders is a very mechanical trade all right it's it's what I call probably 95% mechanical why only 95% well there are always outside influences uh, such as a red flag or a news announcements and things like that that doesn't matter that can really stop you out but anyway so uh, that's very some things you need to do so that's a 2b you're we're looking for longs we looking for trades above the goal okay we're still looking for trades above the gold our anchor chart would be telling us to look for longs um, uh, so we've had right to be over there nice winner another 2b now you can see the other lines forget your counter trend trades that was with the coaching client I won't go into the counter trends uh, because it's a whole different subject and nowhere near as accurate all right so trend trading trend trading market rolls over this is what we call a t10 just here now a t10 is as you we had back here is one of the first indications of a change in trend okay now the thing is when you have a retracement you want to get back in within one or two candles in actual fact if you took what we call a slingshot trade you were in on the close or the open of this second candle traders you can't get in any earlier all right that really it's you want the trade confirmed and that's what it does and that's why it just blows me away we try to say oh it doesn't work or you can't make it's it, it's just frustrating it really is but well look there's always going to be losing traders and a bit the, the difference is I suppose traders without sounding arrogant you've got traders that will step up and say well I'm just not good enough yet I need to do more training but then you've got traders that um, uh, will just want to blame and you see what actually happens is they end up with what we call an endless loop that is they constantly you know say that they have what we call victim talk why does this always happen to me this never works sorry about the noise in the background then you've got traders that, that have what we call compelling questions that say what can I learn from this for an example as you're watching what I'm explaining here you can go back and replay this you should be saying to yourself what can I learn from what Ray is teaching me whether you love or hate me it really doesn't matter I'm a coach I don't care whether someone doesn't like me but what I do care about is that you succeed as a trader so in looking at the logic let's get logically let's remove emotions for a moment let's look at logic for logic is we want to trade in the direction of the trend our goal what's the direction it's up so we want to trade the retracements and the trend continuation trades over time what you do have to learn you do have to learn when a trend is coming to an end okay and there are things like our t10 and the reason you want to do that is if you keep taking these trend continuation trades okay and you come to an end this is where you fail now remember earlier I mentioned that there's geometric patterns appear in the market every day here's one here right here well one you've got your two tens that's one okay here's one here now this appears you'll see this pattern every single day it's straight after a trend exhaustion okay where you'll get a CT 200 B comes down and it reverses here is one here this is a geometric pattern appears every day so we'll come back to that because you'll see more in a moment so we just had two winning two B's you just got a nice geometric pattern here let's keep trading with the trend okay it's rolled over uh, what's our trend direction now right now blind Freddy can see we're in a downtrend okay we've got slingshots all the way down so we keep going down keep going down keep going down 
now we keep trading that until we get a reversal now we just had a reversal here we've come back up we've now got a 2b now this 2b you only get in these after on the close usually of the third candle so here I had one two three four even though I ticked down five ticks it was only good for one point okay that's all you would have got out of that to be is one point all right but it's still better than losing now we then rally up what do we see early we want to follow the goal so what's the direction of a goal we're now in an uptrend we want to take this long we want to take this is a long just here this is a slingshot as well we then come up we now have some divergence and if you look at your anchor chart you would see we've got a couple of two B's and uh, for members you can see that's even really a 200 overshoot all right so you could call that a 200 overshoot 89 B on the AC but you just know that these are very very bankable trades so the market um, comes over um, we come over here now we then see how our EMAs and our sideways right now there's no shame and what I actually said to this member is we're going through a coaching session I type this up both to now there are two B's both of them are very nice profitable six tick moves okay however I said here there's um, uh, no shame in standing aside due to the EMAs converging because these are the areas where traders will get chopped up quite easily and that's what we've got to remember traders we're looking for a fanning see this here see this is fanning apart your EMAs that represents a trend now our re-entry point because that really is a consolidation we have a, a trade set up that we call the t2 you actually had one there and one there that confirms your new breakout right very very mechanical and what I've said here traders is this when you're trading with a Renko chart Renko is beautiful okay because it removes a lot of noise from the market but the problem with the Renko for particularly um, hardcore day traders as you know traders the Renko can sometimes also remove a lot of information that we like such and I recommend that if you're trading the globe session you look at the 89 tick chart so let's just go and have a look at that 89 tick chart and I'll just show you what I mean so here is the 89 tick okay so the 89 tick and I won't go scroll back here this is an 89 so it just gives me more without smoothing it it gives me additional entry points because with and let's just quickly go back to this sometimes with a really strong trend you'll have no pullback so just go straight up but what you do you'll look at your tick chart and you'll see these little pullbacks are more obvious you remember traders about this geometric pattern I said it was good for four ticks remember that at the start of the video I said there was our entry on the close of that one two three four you've now ticked past four so you've now hit five now where it's ticked down and touch five you may not have been filled but if you're after four ticks you've just romped it in okay so it was $50 this potentially is a 6250 move and it may go even further this is one of the geometric patterns we see every day on tick charts now you would have actually easily got it's now down to six ticks okay which is three by six yes I can three by six yes I can but I will say and I do have to say this for new traders this is a CT trade a counter trend trade you mark these up you learn them but you do not start trading your CT trades until you are profitable trend trading but anyway let's go back to this so uh, don't forget to check out the 89 and the reason I mention that you get a lot of other information now just for our counter trend traders this is it and and for those watching one of my videos for the first time this is an example why the CT traders you just had would have had a loss there there was a classic counter trend there another one there and now a big move here a, a 2d now our two D's by the way and for existing members know the two D's are a very very high probability high profit trade so if you had have taken that one you would have been stopped but you've made your money plus a profit back on this one your t19s are not as accurate where with the t19 we're targeting the 34 
with a 2d we're targeting the 89 now remember earlier I mentioned that there's a pattern that we see every day here it is again we see it's come down it's off a um, trend correction we've come back up and it's continued back down then we had a t19 again right it's just a high probability trade it is also a new trend following trade remember the trend is your friend now that also is turned into a pivot bounce and here we've got a pivot bounce again price action rallied up you had a pivot bounce here is you've now got if you notice you've got a, you got your EMA is converging again this is where you've got to be very very careful of, of these areas but what it then formed was was then a double top okay we had a nice little t7 it's not perfect but that doesn't matter because it's a pivot bounce so we had a double top trend continuation and we also then had another 2b another that was a 2b ching 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 again we've rallied up and lo and behold what have we got you wouldn't believe it another pivot bounce so traders what I've just shown you is a, is a lot of trend opportunities there or trades uh, and I you know um, I haven't skipped I've just shown you all of the key ones all right and there's a ton of other potential entries for an example we have a setup let me just quickly show you this it's called the rule of one now it's only um, it's only unique to um, Renko we have what we call the rule of two which we use on range charts the rule of one see those black dots short uh, long 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 now here there's a reason why you don't take that one there it's your first sell into the 200 all right we don't take the first you take the second but these are what we call the rule of one anyway there's many many different setups so traders look the, the art of day trading what it really comes down is taking the time in learning the patterns you only need to master two or three trend following strategies now for all members that joined the day traders fast track program now don't switch off here traders because I just want to quickly cover this with you you know so many traders are they'll go and think nothing about blowing two five ten twenty thousand in a trading account but they won't spend a couple of hundred dollars for the world's most comprehensive program it, it beats me is that as I've just shown you traders the secret to trading is get in a trend early right when you're in the trend you can follow that trend you can know and understand how divergence works you see when you've got what we call angulation price action is rapidly moving away okay when it's rapidly moving away from the, your major EMAs you have what we call angulation that's when you start to become concerned or you start to become very wary of your trend following trades that's what trading is about is learning and it, you know what it's only a pattern anyone can learn these as I mentioned earlier it's not a game of intellect what I just wanted to show you was this here what did I say up here here's your pivot bounce pivot pivot bounce thank you pivot bounce now if you say waited for the super scalper see that white um, candle it's what I call the super scalper the super scalper does not plot until I get a tick below the second candle all right but here say if you got in on the close there's your four ticks there's your four ticks there's your four ticks here's your four ticks again all right here's your four ticks that's without doing any trailing or going for larger profit targets and there's a reason why by the way you would front run potentially here but I won't get into that um, but these are very mechanical trading setups but anyway traders I'm already 34 minutes in so make sure you subscribe to my channel become a member traders and you'll get to learn all of this it ain't rocket science um, I include all of my indicators now uh, if you've got trade station fantastic uh, but I've got the super scalper basically the super scalper the white paint bar uh, is actually a lagging indicator because it doesn't plot to the third there are earlier ways or we can get in on the second candle which I teach you but um, we've got 
uh, indicators once again indicators are just tools the important thing is to learn how to trade price action so thank you traders look forward to having you as a member and look forward to seeing you on my next video and just one more thing one more thing as members every week I record new Q&A sessions uh, for members there are literally a couple of hundred on the member site uh, in the members area so as you do your training I give all members full email support and once a week maybe every second week I record ongoing videos right cover questions and ideas and that sort of thing thanks traders I will wrap it up now see you on the next video